Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes, your daily tarot reading for Friday, June 29th. This is for all signs. This is what I'm picking up on today. Things may not be coming together as planned. Something may be up. <laughs> yeah. Something is definitely not coming together as planned. It's not. Hmm. You know, it, there's a feeling of personal freedom here from a situation, but you may feel like you are being naive going down this route. There's like a lack of faith in yourself, a loss of self, a loss of a lack of faith in yourself, needing to have confidence and strength and courage. to step on your own path because that's liberation that 10 of swords yes there's a there there is a uh, a major new beginning waiting for you a major new opening it's just waiting for you to step over the finish line it is all you have to do is take that last step to have this new beginning. You're so close, so close to embarking on a new journey. But there's a feeling of recklessness, fear, fear of not making the right decision, not listening to your intuition. Your intuition is telling you, your inner, your inner knowing is saying, okay, just do it, just do it, just do it. But I, I, I still lack that last smidgen of faith. But I know I need to. I know. I know that I need to take that last step. So somebody is being called to find the confidence and the courage to do it. To do it. Just do it. The worst is over. Okay. The worst is over. We are dealing with some karma here with the judgment card. It's labeled as karma. It's reversed. Not following your intuition is lack of integrity. You have to find your moral backbone to do what's right for you, what your intuition is telling you to do. You have to. Otherwise, you're going to receive karma. You know, you have to follow the script. You have to follow the plan. The script is within you. You know what you need to do, but somebody isn't strong enough to do it. Let me make sure that this is zoomed in. This judgment card in many decks is labeled truth. Okay. It's about accepting the truth, but this one is reversed. Not following your truth. That's what's going on here. Determined, very, very determined to find success In some place that where there is no more success. There's no more success in this situation in which you are afraid of to, to let go of. There's no more success there, but somebody is still holding on.
this this truth that somebody doesn't want to accept this awakening this awareness there's awareness here you know what this is but i don't want to believe it i don't want to believe it doesn't lead to victory and success your victory and success is after you step over the finish line it's when you start the new journey that's where your success lies whatever it is that you are determined to hold on to that doesn't bring abundance to your life that isn't right that that doesn't have that isn't true to you it isn't meant for you does not lead to victory and success it doesn't you have to release this karma and that is going to take strength and backbone this is a card of strength as well and confidence <laughs> Somebody is absolutely needing to find the strength and the confidence to wake up. There's no, this is the judgment card. There's no more chances in this situation that you're holding on to that you are determined to make work. You can't make something work if it's not meant to work. Something is over with the Ten of Swords. It's over and you're still holding on to it. There's a major new beginning here with the world card. It's one phase of your life, one prominent long-term phase. It's over. It's over. It's done. And it's like you're taking advantage of this new opportunity, not taking advantage of this new opportunity because there's a lot of self-doubt here. There's a lot of fear, lack of confidence, lack of, of, of integrity in following your own inner, inner knowing, your own intuition. Either way, there, there's a feeling of holding on to something that is dead. Holding on to something that is dead. You have an opportunity to step over that finish line and start a whole new life, a whole new journey, a whole new chapter. That's what this is. It's the last card in the deck. You've learned a lesson through this recklessness or whatever it is. You have learned a lesson. Now it's time to learn a new one. There's no progress being made waiting for something that isn't meant to be to be resurrected to come back around. There's no progress. There's no victory. There's no success. It's time to free yourself from this situation, whatever it is. It's a time of liberation. It's, time, it's a time of giving up on the situation that doesn't bring abundance to your life. It, it's not going to be fulfilling holding on to this truth that isn't true. You mean you're holding on to something that isn't true. It's not. It's not. You think it's true, but it's not true. That's what I'm trying to say. Whatever it is. Somebody hasn't been... accepting... the changes that are happening and are needing are needed okay this nine of pentacles is when it's upright the storm is over 
this is reverse. It's like you're living in the storm. You're staying in the storm. You're standing in it. When you have an opportunity to step outside and go down the new path. Somebody is blocking the truth. Blocking their awareness, blocking, blocking their awakening, blocking the truth. We've come so far, I can't let this go. I can't let this go. The fact of the matter is, is there is no victory and success in whatever this is that you're holding on to that is not serving you. In order to be happy again, you have to take action. You have to be willing to shed the old. You need to be willing to find those resources within you. And somebody's not. Somebody is deceiving themselves by not taking that next step, by not having faith. You're being called to look at things from a new perspective, but refusing, refusing to. Somebody is. Somebody, somebody, I know that there's hundreds and thousands of people that watch this. Somebody is seeing it as it is. Somebody needs to do that. This is, this is trickery, cunning, deceptive, craftiness. Not taking action, unwilling to shed the old, unwilling to, to drop the past baggage, to, to make changes, to bring success to your life. Unwilling. You're, uh, therefore, there's a going to be a lack of abundance until you can flip this card around and find your power. Your power to release, your power to manifest, your power to accomplish whatever you want. Somebody is refusing, allowing themselves, tricking themselves. I think this is trickery, self-trickery. You want to know what brings you happiness? Freedom, liberation, and stepping over that finish line will bring you happiness. And that is going to take strength, courage, and confidence, and willpower. It's, it's like this. There's one more step that you need to take to free yourself. And when you do, you're going to feel triumphant. I have to show you what's on the bottom of the deck. The three of swords reversed. This, is, this can mean so much. The three of swords reversed for some of you is denial. <laughs> In denial of the truth. Something is over and I refuse to let it go. Okay? That's for somebody. Being called to look at things from a new perspective. you got to be strong. You know what you need to let go of. You know that you need to take steps forward. You know this is over. You know you have a new journey in front of you. You know that this has to end, but you're in denial for some of you. For some of you, this is about letting go of sorrow. I let go of this sorrow and I am going to step onto my new path. I'm starting to heal. My old wounds are starting to mend. And I'm happy. That's for some of you. Some of you are in a deni denial. Some of you are accepting, allowing, and moving on.
So I feel like today is the day where we, you take that next step, whatever it means to you. The next step that your intuition has been telling you to take. Seriously. Whatever your intuition has been telling you to do, you need to stop ignoring it. You need to stop deceiving yourself. You need to stop tricking yourself and thinking that wherever you're staying that's comfortable is going to bring you abundance because it isn't. We're going to get one of these. We're going to get an angel romance card for this situation. Somebody is absolutely being naive, deceiving themselves, tricking themselves, thinking that a situation is, is going to change and that somebody is going to uh, eventually going to be grateful for them. That this is that the that you know that this is going to get better. It's not. You need to free yourself from these tricks and these lies and this deception. Whether it's you lying or somebody lying to you, so that you can find happiness. I refuse to wake up with this judgment card reversed. I refuse. You're not making the right call either. Because this is a judgment call. I mean, this is a judgment card. It's labeled karma in this deck. It's reversed. Somebody isn't making the, uh, the right judgment call. Not acting with integrity because their intuition is telling them to do something. But they're not doing it because they think that they can change somebody's mind. Happiness lies after you step over the finish line and start your new chapter. Seriously. Freedom, liberation leads to happiness and a brand new major beginning. Long term. Ooh. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Makes sense, doesn't it? But somebody has to let go of what doesn't serve them. They have to be willing to bring success. And they have to take steps to do it. Instead of staying put, being scared, be afraid. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So I feel like today is a day if somebody needs to accept the truth. For real. Let's get real. Happiness lies after you step over that finish line and you take that last step. Hanging on to this past, this dishonesty, this, this thing, whatever it is that isn't true... Does not bring you abundance and success. So I feel like today is a day where you have the opportunity to wake up, find the strength and the courage and the willpower and the mental strength more than anything to open your eyes, wake up and start that new chapter. Stop being naive. Somebody has been naive.
I don't know if I should get another card or not. I guess I'll get one of these. There's some secrets too with that high priestess reverse. Somebody has some secrets. They're not telling the truth. Somebody isn't telling the truth. But they know the truth or they're not accepting the truth. And that's what it is. Somebody isn't accepting the truth. Something isn't isn't moving forward. It's not. And you're being called to start a new a new uh, chapter, a big new chapter. Some of you are doing it. Some of you aren't. You know, that's the story, right? Some people lack confidence. Okay, this is funny. Okay, if you think about this one, this is confidence. This is this is willpower. This is strength. The Six of Wands reverse is the opposite. Opposite completely. I mean, this is it's amazing. This row versus this row. It's, it really is. This row is somebody that doesn't want to accept the truth. They, they don't. They think that, they, that if they put in more effort and they can manifest this, they can manipulate the situation. I can, I, can, I can fix this. I can change it. We can change this. You can't. It doesn't lead to victory and success. This row, somebody finds the confidence and the courage to accept some kind of truth. Free themselves from this deception and start a new a new chapter, a new life, a new journey that does lead to success and happiness. So oh yeah, this is for two groups of people, it is. Ooh, perseverance. This is perseverance as well. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. And you can. You can. You can do whatever you set your mind to. But you can't make somebody change. You can't make somebody love you. No matter what you do. And somebody is, is trying to. Somebody is trying to, you know, I'm going to stick it out to the bitter end. Lack of self-respect. Here, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Yeah, perseverance is good in some aspects of your life. But it can also be detrimental if you hold on to something that is dead. He's dead. So anyway, I feel as though today is a day of, of needing to wake up. Some of you are awake. Some of you are not. It's time to accept the truth. And have your new beginning. It's waiting for you. That's what I have. Talk to you later.